All right, I've uh, actually made some updates to the library, uh, but I wanted to shoot this video. So um, for those of you who were trying out PropEOS 4 before the latest 4.3, um, one of the changes of 4.3 was additional controls for localized lockup or for responsive lockup. Um, and I know um, a few people actually prefer the old one. Um, so you can edit any of the styles, but I understand that some of these responsive controls have a lot of settings that get a little tricky. Um, so in the library now, I'm actually going to give you four options for lockup that you can choose. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate them here um, just to kind of show everybody. Um, again, you can still go into the actual style and you can change your top and your bottom and your size. Um, but because the, the responsive controls, actually, uh, because the responsive lockup has a lot of settings in it, um, I understand for some people who just haven't done it yet, it's, a, it's getting a little tricky. So I, I made these four versions just to kind of make everybody happen. So um, the first one, this is what I'm calling the V2, and this is a, a low blade version. This is the one that I've been using for 4.3. So what happened was originally when we did when I designed the responsive lockup, it would move when your blade was pointing straight up, it would be at its lowest point. And then when your blade was pointing straight down, it would actually be at its furthest point. So that as you move the blade, it was moving towards the end. Um, and particularly when you would get below horizontal, um, that was actually getting a little away from the realism. Um, and I actually figured it out just messing around with my son when we were trying to keep coordinated uh, every time we would kind of move below horizontal, that wasn't really how you naturally crossed your blades. Um, so I designed the V2 um, lockup to actually have two other controls on it um, so that, that when you get below horizontal, it actually starts coming back up, which is what's more realistic. But there's those of you who like the V1, so now you can choose the V1, which I'll show. Um, and then I've also modified the V2 with two different ones. So this first one is going to be the responsive lockup V2. Um, and I'm calling it low blade, and the reason is I found that when you're really dueling and getting into a lockup, you're kind of staying in this bottom half of the blade. Um, so this is that version. So it still moves towards the hilt as you move defensively, and then as you move towards your opponent in horizontal, it'll move up the blade. But then if you get below horizontal, it'll actually start moving back up towards the hilt, and that I just found was a more natural movement. Now the other, there's actually a third control that we haven't talked about. The size of the lockup is actually reacting to movement of the blade. So when you're standing perfectly still, it will shrink a bit. As you move, it actually expands while you're moving. So it's, it might be hard to pick up in the video, but there's actually a third control just for the size. So that's one of the, the things. Um, now that was the low blade version. This is going to be the mid blade version. So the mid blade, it still comes pretty low, but I, I just added that top parameter to let it go a little higher because um, some people wanted more movement in it. Um, so the mid blade will give you more movement, but again, when you get below horizontal, it's actually going to start moving back. So that's why it's still a V2. And this one also has the, if you're moving the blade, the lockup size will grow for a second. And if you're static, it'll, it'll shrink. So again, it comes down. And it moves up, but the moving up will actually be a little further. And then when you get below horizontal, it'll start coming back up the blade. And again, as you move, it's actually going to change that size until you get still. So it just gives it a lot of control and animation. Um, so that's the mid-blade version. And really the difference between it is it just goes a lot higher up the blade. So I just extended that um, possibility, but there were those who were asking for that. And then this is the V1. So this is the from the original OS 4 that's in all uh, before 4.3 update. This one doesn't only has the, basically a, the, the main control. So it, if you go below horizontal, it's going to continue up the blade for those who like it. This does have the secondary control though for that size to react to uh, movement. So this one you move defensively to slide down. As you move towards horizontal, it'll move up. And then if you continue, it'll actually move pretty close to the tip. So you don't do a lot of lockups like that, but some people were asking about it. So that's the V1. And again, the size is still reacting to movement. So if you move the blade, it grows for a second, and then it shrinks. The reason behind that is actually if you are kind of sparring with someone, dueling with someone, uh, as you move your blades against them, it gives you a little more area just so you can kind of coordinate um, so that you keep that effect really looking good. And then...
and then this version this is the um, this is going to be the animated lockup so this actually goes back to the fork the CC fork this one gives you a lockup section that actually moves on its own this is not responsive but there's a few people who liked the older one um, and it's a little trickier to get it into OS 4 because of all the layers and stuff so I've just included it in the library for those who like it um, so this one it just has an animation and that lockup section will move along the blade on its own. It does not respond to anything. Um, so this is kind of the old approach to lockup. But it's for those of you who liked it and who didn't want responsive, this will be in there. Um, so that's the animated lockup version, and that is the fourth option. Um, I'll probably add more options now. Uh, basically, once I get anything in the enhanced screen, it just becomes an easy drop down for me to put stuff in. Um, but for right now, there's going to be four lockups that you can choose from. Uh, just pick the one that you like. Um, you can still go in and tweak them, um, but I do know the responsive controls, there's a lot of uh, numbers in there um, because they all do different things, and because we added additional controls, it was getting a little complex. I will do videos um, to explain more, but I kind of have to build up to that because I have to get the layers. Everybody has to understand layers, and we have to start talking about the, the new um, transition functions and then I have to talk or transitions and then we have to start talking about functions before we get into what those all all those responsive settings mean um, so those are going to be the four lockup versions um, oh while I have it there's also now two lightning blocks um, so there's going to be the responsive lightning black and the lightning block and then original lightning block original lightning block is just um, going to be the animated only um, so this is going to be the responsive lightning block. So this one has the built-in randomization, but with responsive, if you move your blade towards vertical, it'll concentrate the lightning to the center of the blade. And then if you turn your hilt, it'll actually increase or decrease that intensity. So it just gives you a little bit of control over it. But it is a, a random effect. And then the um, original lightning block is just a straight animation. It doesn't respond to blade angle, it doesn't respond to twisting. Um, but I know a few people liked that one too. Um, so that's just the random, it doesn't have any controls on it. So this will be just the original lightning block. So this one doesn't really respond to anything, it just does its own lightning up and down the blade. But that now is going to be an option you choose in your enhanced screen as well. So. Um, the library is getting updated now. If you had the library open today, um, I know a few people, for whatever reason, it was caching the scripts that run the enhanced screen, and you were getting incomplete styles. Um, if you've been using the library prior to seeing this, um, just uh, if it if you get a compiler, it, it's going to be that that script didn't get updated. This change has another script update, so just refresh the page first before getting the styles. Um, once you refresh the page, it should bring the new script in, which will then fix that. Uh, um, but I know a couple people uh, messaged me that they were getting compilers, and when I looked at the styles, it's because part of the style wasn't getting written, and that's because you were, they had a previous version of the script. Um, so that's all that was. But a um, lot more coming. Um, I just wanted to get this update to everybody, because um, I know the, the responsive lockup, there's a lot of, you know, it's personal choices, and it was getting a little, you know, some people were having a harder time with it. So hope you enjoy. A lot more to come. Um, anything pops up with 4.3 that isn't library based, please do post in the TRA thread for Frederick. We're trying to get out of beta. Um, we're getting pretty close from as I understand it, but uh, you know we want to make sure we have everything covered. Uh, if there are any bugs, get everything done, get this all set, and then once Frederick's happy with it, it'll be in full release. So pretty exciting.